Nemso Indian Defense, Deferred Hubner Variation, 6.BD3. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. The middle game battle was fairly even. Opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. e6 opens up a line for the dark-squared bishop and prepares to castle quickly, while preparing to push a pawn to d5 and recapture with a pawn if captured. And c3 develops the knight to fight for the e4 square and to control d5. In the Nimso Indian defense, bb4 pins the knight on c3, preventing it from moving or protecting e4, and threatens to trade, disrupting white's pawns after bx c3. e3 supports the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop and queen to develop. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. bd3 develops the bishop, supports the e4 square and keeps black guessing whether the knight will develop to f3 or e2. c5 takes space in the center, attacks the d4 pawn and supports the bishop on b4. nf3 develops the knight toward the center, defends the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is the last book move. This misses an opportunity to strike at the center with a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. Recaptures. It is best. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. That's fine. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This threatens to pin a knight. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to reveal an attack on a pawn. This permits the opponent to kick a knight. It is a mistake. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is best. The game is still close to equal, but white lost their advantage. It is an inaccuracy. A very strong play. It is excellent. This ignores an opportunity to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is an inaccuracy. White had an advantage but now the game is close to equal. It is an inaccuracy. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is good. Recaptures. It is best. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is good. This misses an opportunity to take an open file with a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is an inaccuracy. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Takes back. It is best. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. This doubles the rooks onto a single file, which allows them to team up to create threats. It is best. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is a miss. There was only one good move in that position. It is a miss. 
it is a miss. This is the only good move. This threatens to attack a trapped rook. It is a great move. There was only one good move there. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. This attacks a rook that cannot escape. It is excellent. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. Capturing that rook wins material. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. The game is still close to equal, but white lost their advantage. It is an inaccuracy. This attacks a rook, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is excellent. This moves the rook to safety. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is good. This allows the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. The rooks are coordinated and powerfully doubled on the file. It is good. This misses an opportunity to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is an inaccuracy. This is the strongest option. It is best. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. It is a mistake. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is good. Right on target. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This ignores an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is an inaccuracy. That's fine. It is good. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it? It is a mistake. This misses an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. It is a miss sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. The middle game battle was fairly even.